very powerful here. Like, this is a... Oh, this is literally hell. All right. Oh, wow. That was easier than I was expecting. Sup, guys? It's Ten Kosh. And today we're doing first day's free-to-play guide for Return to Earth. Roguelike game, which is pretty hard, to be honest. When I just started, I was surprised by the amount of enemies. So, what do we have in the game? After finishing first level, you will get plenty of gold and... <laughs> It's your best bet not to spend them all here on the chips. That will be a horrible mistake. What you want to do, you want to go here in the tech and get yourself some health bonuses and save some gold for later because you will need to get your player level 2 bonuses like attack bonus and that kind of stuff so those bonuses will be good but don't spend everything in one place moreover you can watch ads and get extra equipment here that's what you should do honestly at the very start of the game so let's do that so yeah by watching two ads you will get some basic gear for yourself let's use it because it will give us some pretty nice stats. Let's actually take a look what exactly it will give us. Movement speed and pickup radius. And also HP. That's pretty cool. And here we get 4 additional attack. Which is pretty insane to be honest. So yeah, right now. I think it's better to go for another run after this. Although you got a cheap window. And here if you get plenty of chips like I do over here. You might want to arrange it a bit better. What's unique about the chip mechanics in this game. That when you get several chips together. Close to each other. They will get double the value and that's really really nice so you might want to spend some of your gold here to unlock chip slots that will allow you to get more chips in your well area and yeah the higher you go the more expensive it will be so be careful about that and yeah you can use those spare resources to upgrade other chips so you will get more bonuses this is a long-term game so yeah don't expect to get everything fast here so let's go do another run and when you start the run you can select the mission some of those are dungeon missions they require you your keys to enter so it will give you gear the one on the right will give you more gold and so on or you can go for the normal mission we will go for the gear since we got two empty gear slots and let's hope for the best over here uh, when you run the fight it's really important not to get ahead of yourself and don't get into enemy groups too close to them because that will cause you to be swarmed and probably um, you can be killed like that so you really don't want to be right next to the enemies or right inside of the enemy groups unless you want to use your ultimate skill there so yeah i would advise you guys to kite enemies early on that's a better idea so if you tie them further away at some point they will decide to fall back to their basic location so yeah you can save yourself some trouble over here you might want to use the item that you have already use the healing and get the new medkit that will allow you to have proper health moreover there is a small arrow here with the secondary missions that you want to do because that rewards you with insane amount of gold guys so yeah you definitely want to go through this a specified number of enemies we need to kill 1k enemies right now that will take a while so yeah right now uh, with our upgraded damage and everything we are pretty much okay we can use an ultimate skill, but honestly, I prefer to use when there are way too many enemies around, because it's an AoE skill, and uh, yeah, you, you just don't want to use it everywhere, that, that, that's not efficient. So areas like this would be a nice one, so you enter here, use that, and you destroy insane amount of enemies, getting the drops in the process, that's nice. As you can see, we're getting additional effects here, like chain lighting or something, that's because we got those chips i think let me destroy some enemies and we will see what it is we got the chest here as well that's pretty dope because the chest will contain some more resources for us bam we got even more chips so let's see yeah this chip allow us to get four percent chance to fire bullets that can cause chain lightning so um some chips are really really cool like this one is really nice it's even better the only problem that i can't really fit it anywhere right no we can if we will manage things properly we can fit even more things here okay we got 6k so that won't help us to get anything extra but this one is really good look at that sadly i haven't found a way to rotate the tiles in any way so probably you cannot if you know how to do that let me know in the comments and yeah your basic idea is to just go down the levels over and over uh, in order to become the strongest of them all let's see how the new damage will work it's working pretty nice there are crazy amount of enemies there they are behind the, the wall though so they don't really attack us but they will at some point when we'll get closer to them as you can see the enemies they do a lot of different stuff at you so you really would like to keep moving and have an area how you can fall back so you will not be cornered that's like the main idea if you will get cornered 
There you come on. That will have you seen the amount of damage I took right now? That's because I was corner there for a second. So yes, you really want to try not to be in this situation like I was right now. And yes, your healing item that won't heal 100% of your health, so be mindful of that. Although I should say with the higher lightning chance it got way easier because you need a lot of those AOE capabilities and all those special effects are really really handy here. My tip would be playing with two arms actually. One arm on the left, like I'm doing right now, that will allow you to move around and uh, one arm on the right in order to use your items and skills at the right time. Instead of getting your hand out of the movement and uh, trying to press the ultimate and during those couple of moments, you will take excessive damage that you don't need to take. Another tip I can give you is explore the entire area. If you see the exit downstairs, don't go there just yet explore make sure that you collect everything make sure that you get as much loot as possible because yeah entering those areas costs you energy that won't recover instantly and uh well yeah you might be able to get some drop or that kind of stuff holy that's really not good do you remember what i said about being cornered well i don't follow my own rules that's why i am in such a trouble right now Oh my god. The good thing though, if you die, you will keep all your belongings that you got during the run, so that's pretty nice. And I wanna get all my HP up to the maximum right now, because yes, we will need that. Yeah, the hardest part in the game is when you just start out, because you don't have that much area to maneuver. And yeah, you might have some serious issues here if you will get stuck or you know just go the wrong way the, they the enemies are really evil and they can swarm you and destroy you in seconds guys and yeah usually your goal is to take out the range units that are hidden behind those tanking guys so oh my god that's crazy damage so yeah you should try to take out those guys that are shooting at you from the back oh oh my god i couldn't use the yeah, I couldn't use the item in time because playing on the phone. So the tips that I can give you right now that you can register the new account here, use it to sync with the PC and play it on the LD player, the Android emulator that I use to play all the games. So as you can see on the PC, when you set up the controls, it's way easier to control, way easier to avoid everything. And you can use your skills properly by just running around without trying so hard anymore so that will make your progress way better and since the game is synchronized you can play it on the pc and on the phone at the same time so after a while you can switch back to your phone and enjoy some grinding or leveling going through the levels like that and easier than ever and another tip for you guys well yeah you can use an ultimate right in time now and don't worry about being surrounded because you can exit the surrounded area quite easily hopefully <laughs> but do you see that there is a circle around right around the medical kit that's the thing that you can actually control so as you do damage to the enemies you will get med kit filled up and that will allow you to plan ahead like when you will get some healing if you need some but i will tell you my performance is way better on the PC than on the mobile. I also got additional chip slots, so now we got those things available. And by clicking on the character, you can see all the available chip add-ons installed, which is pretty nice. I want to upgrade this one. It will cost 20. Oh my god. Let's dismantle those low-tier ones. All right. And at the end of the level, there is a boss waiting for you. Oh, oh, oh. It's the same boss that we had before. All right. Oh, wow. That was easier than I was expecting. So using the proper ultimate skill totally decimate the boss. All right. And uh, at the end of the run, you can multiply the gold gain if you want to using the add. And well, yeah, I don't want to do that. That's not enough. They want us to get the, the rating. And you can get the new heroes here if you get their parts. I still have no idea how to get that. But we got the new equipment. 
What does it do? Increase defense power. Uh, let's use it. It doesn't matter, but we need it. What attack? We're level 2, so we can unlock the attack. And I really advise you guys to focus on attack quite a lot. Because the more damage you do to the enemies, the faster they die. Later on, you will get way more stats available. And all of those are really good. But focusing on attack is essential. Because the more attack you have, well, the better. Let's put it like that. And yeah, there are different bonuses available in the chips here. And my favorites are... Probably attack range and attack speed and chain lighting because that allow you to do so much more. Let's upgrade this one and see what will happen. Oh, so when you upgrade the chip, it will get one of those things randomly upgraded. It doesn't upgrade everything, just one of those things. Okay. Increase 15% damage for each point of energy you have currently. That's actually pretty cool. The more power you have, the more DPS you will do. As you progress the campaign, you will get more and more enemies that have different abilities. They will become tougher, more varied, let's put it like that. And you can see familiar enemies that will evolve or the new ones. So for example, this guy, it hits us with the chain. So yeah, it can slow you down and get you in a really tight situation if you are not ready for that. And yeah, guys, if you want to fight the sentry robot properly, uh, without exploiting the ultimate, it's not that hard. It got the normal pattern that you can avoid. On the PC, it's even easier to avoid than on the mobile. But yeah, using the ultimate is way easier. So I advise you guys to do that. And as you play the game, you will get deeper and deeper to Earth. So you start with Exosphere, then Thermosphere, then Mesosphere. Then probably at some point there will be Atmosphere. By the way, guys, I've just noticed the game have some bugs. So right now I don't have ability to pick up the medical kit because I have one, but I can't see it. You can enter and exit the menu and everything will be in place. So, yeah, don't worry about that. You're good. Yeah, guys, only when you know what the actual hell you're doing, you can do something like this. Go into the enemy groups and destroy them fast when you're sure about, like, your skills and that you won't die. Otherwise, no, it will be a bad decision. So be really careful when you are progressing before you will learn how to properly control your character, how to go through the enemy waves, and how to avoid being killed and how to use your skills. And yeah, guys, we are in the mesosphere right now and you can see the ocean already. So the, the deeper you are, the harder it gets. Obviously, look at those guys. They are very powerful here. Like this is like, oh, this is literally hell. And uh, yeah, the closer you get to the earth. So probably in order to progress in the game, in order to go for the current difficulty levels, you will have to grind quite a lot of those normal levels here in order to get enough stuff for your upgrades. So yeah, guys, those are all the tips I can give you for return to earth roguelike game. I kind of like it and don't like it at the same time. I like the mechanics and the idea. It looks a bit new and refreshing, but I don't like that it can become pretty grindy. You gotta grind the same levels in order to progress the campaign. Let me know what you think about this game and this guy down below in the comments. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. All those actions will help to promote the video in YouTube algorithms. Check out the video description for links. We got the LD player there, so you can play this and other Android games on the PC. My other YouTube channel, social media, Discord and other useful stuff. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. That's about it for now. Stand for shout. Have a good one. Bye.